And I mean, at first I looked at, it, I was like, oh, there's not a, not a chance. Like Bolton, I, I didn't have a, I didn't have a car at the time. We were living in North York. It was a 45 minute drive outside the city, but you know, four months at Ikea when I was hoping to be working in accounting or something, I was like, okay, well I'll, I'll give them a chance. So I, I went out and I interviewed, um, for, uh, uh, it was a customer service position, implementation, so actually traveling around implementing the software. And I did the interview, went home, was, and thought it was it was okay. You know, it was, again, not, not a job that I was looking for, but it was something that I figured, well, it'll, it'll get me somewhere, right? And uh, Christmas Eve, <laughs> I think it was a Saturday, I was visiting my parents. I got a phone call in the morning, and it's uh, Chris, our CEO, on the other end of the line. And he says, hey, um, I saw you were in for an interview. I've um, you know, looked at your application, and we want to get you in uh, to interview for a software position. And I'm thinking, you know, on the one hand, why, why do you want me for a software position? Like, I have, I have no experience. I have, you know, I have an accounting background. What, what am I going to do for you for software? Um, and he told me that they have a better track record of taking people with accounting backgrounds and teaching them how to develop software than they do from taking people with a software background and teaching them accounting. So I thought, all right, you know, I'll give it a chance. And um, I had done years before a little bit of, of, of web design in college and things like that, but nothing, nothing serious. So I came in, I did the interview. Um, one of my supervisors, uh, Ali, he has an accounting background. He was, I think, their their blueprint a little bit for pulling someone from accounting and putting them in software. Um, so I sat with him for a little while and, and, and talked about what that transition was like and decided that, yeah, you know what, I'll go for it. And, you know, five years later, I moved across the country with them. I, I love what I do. So I think it, it all worked out in the end.